In this video, I will show you how you can mount a partition or your hard disk automatically in your Linux machine. Welcome to Linux Ort. Let's start right through. If I open up my file manager, I have a separate device, which is this disk here. I want that this disk will be mounted automatically from the start of the system. How do we do that? For that, I open up the menu, open up the app disks. This is this one here. And here we see also the hard disk perfect. What we have to do is to select the additional partition options here for the partition of the hard disk we want to mount. In this case, I only have one. This is completely okay. I open these gears and select edit mount options. Here in the mount options, I disable the user session defaults and then I can define my options here. With this in the end, the etc fs tab file is written. So if you found this in the internet, this is completely also okay. But here we can do it graphically and it's a lot more easy. Here I would recommend this mount at system startup also show in user interface is also great you can also disable this that the device will not be shown in this uh, user interface but this is okay for us uh, here we can also give some names that is completely okay and here we see some special groups and i highly recommend you to keep no fail in it because when the hard disk will be ejected at some time and you still want to boot your Linux, then this option is very essential because otherwise your system will not boot again. So make sure to keep this option here, no fail in this line. I don't change anything here. The default is just fine for us. Here we can define a mount point. The conventions say, yeah, we want to mount it under slash MNT. This is the default mount directory for Linux systems. But if you have a hard disk, then it is also a common use that we instead delete all this here and for example, mount it under slash data or slash data two or something like this. I also mounted a system called m2 or ssd that's also okay i'm going with slash data here that is most common used you could define every name you want here unless slash home slash user slash etc and so on so make sure to don't select one of these names here in the top root directory of your Linux system. I'm going with slash data here. That's completely okay for us. I also keep the identify as as it is. If you want to change it, for example, to dev sdb1, this also could be useful sometimes, but usually you want to keep this at the default. Also the file system type, just keep it as it is. Your system will recognize it. I will select OK here and I type in my password because with this, we added the etc fs tab file. So I press on mount selected partition here. If this is currently mounted, just unmounted here with this sign here and mount it again. I open that one up and I can create some document here. And if we restart our computer, this will be mounted as it is, like we see it in the current state. And that is perfect. Let us come to the second part of this video. If you have some net volumes like Zamba, like SFTP, FTP, WebDev, then this is a bit more complicated. We also have to edit this etc. We see here etc. And then we uh, go to the file fs tab. Here we see it. We just edited it graphically. So we don't have to do anything here. But for the net mounts, we normally have to edit this fs tab file to mount the specific net drive. So for that, I will put you some links into the video description if you want to do that. But there is an kind of easy trick how you can not fully automate this, but make it a lot more easy to go to your net drives. For that, yeah, I have to connect me to some net drive. I open up file connect to server and connect me to my other Linux machine. How are you gonna do that? I put you the link into the video description. I just finish this one. Perfect, here we are. And 
If you are in your NetDrive and you want to access this very regularly in your daily PC use, you can just head over to bookmarks and select add bookmark here. I select this one and then we have a new bookmark here with the NetDrive. This is very cool because if we eject this NetDrive again or we reboot our computer, we will find our bookmarks like this. So we can just single click on it and it automatically mounts at some time and you don't have to do anything more. In the end, if you can also rename your bookmark, just right click it, rename and I um, rename it to other Linux machine. Perfect. This is how you do this kind of automatically for net drives. As said again, if you want to fully automate this, this is a bit more complicated. I will put you some links to it into the video description. That was it for today. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did so, please leave a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel to get even more useful tips because every week we are releasing new videos. So I would say have a nice day and see you in the next one. Bye.